Yes, it's the big news for 1958. The new 1958 DeSoto. From any angle, there's big news in styling. For DeSoto, again, steals the headlines as the style leader. But the headlines we want to talk about right now are these. DeSoto's big new engine. The newest in chassis design. The newest in power steering and many other new features. Details later. But we can say now that in the 1958 DeSoto, there is more that's newer, better, and more saleable than at any time in the past. Now, let's take these DeSoto news stories one at a time. For example, what's under the headline, DeSoto's completely new engine? Well, you could write a subheading to that and tell your prospects that it's the smoothest, quietest engine DeSoto has ever built. But let's look at some of the specifications first. Your engine lineup is simplified because the same basic engine is used in all DeSotos. The engine differs in that it comes in either a 350 or 361 cubic inch displacement and with either a two or a four barrel carburetor. Now let's see which are on which. The fire sweep uses a 350 cubic inch engine up 25 inches from 57. The fire flight and fire dome use the 361 cubic inch engine, 20 more than in 57. The stroke is exactly the same in both engines. Only the bores or cylinder diameters differ. In the fire sweep, the bore is 4.06 inches, while in the fire flight and fire dome, the bore is 4.12 inches. Other dimensions are exactly the same for both engines. The carburetor differences are easy to remember also. The two-barrel carburetor is used on the fire sweep and fire dome. The four-barrel carburetor is used on the fire flight and on the fire sweep with power package. Incidentally, these carburetors are all new. Both carburetors have improved floats and additional venting so that stalling difficulties on turns and hot start is virtually eliminated. Both carburetors also have their chokes mounted in the intake manifold hot spot so that the choke is more responsive, saves lots of gas on those short shopping trips. Under test conditions, it was found that gas mileage was improved by as much as 42% on a two-mile trip and 23% on five-mile runs. Contributing still further to economy, compression ratio is now a big 10 to 1 across the board, which means that more power than ever is squeezed out of every drop of fuel. And there's horsepower aplenty for safer-than-ever performance. In horsepower, it's a mighty 305 for fire flight, 295 for fire dome, and 280 for fire sweep. The power package fire sweep delivers 295 horsepower. Yes, the engines in all DeSotos provide adequate power for outstanding performance for all normal driving, plus more of the reserve power needed for maximum safety on today's crowded highways. We mentioned earlier the almost unbelievably smooth and quiet operation of the new DeSoto engines. Now, many things make that possible. Let's have a look. Here is the sturdiest passenger car engine DeSoto or anyone else has ever built. And its strength, plus its precision manufacture, are the basis of its quietness and smoothness, as well as sources of long, trouble-free service. One of the most important factors contributing to this is the new crankshaft. It's stronger and much stiffer to resist the flexing or crankshaft wind-up that occurs hundreds of times a minute and causes throbbing in some engines. No throbbing occurs in DeSoto's crankshaft because the overlap area of the main and connecting rod journals is greater, over twice as much as in 57. Notice that DeSoto has a deep skirt block that supports the crankshaft from below as well as above and the deep skirt also provides deeper support for the torque converter or bell housing. Adequate support means perfect power alignment. And talking about support for the crankshaft, just look at the increase in main bearing area, over one-fourth more for 58. That means precision clearances and perfect alignment are maintained far longer. Rod bearing areas are increased one-quarter also. Yes, strength Stiffness, support, and alignment, all are important to engine smoothness and quietness. But that's not all. 
There's balance, too. All of the moving parts of the engine, such as the crank, rods, pistons, and pins, are individually balanced and matched before assembly. This ensures adequate balance in most cases. But DeSoto goes one step further. After the crankshaft and its assorted parts are mounted in the block, the entire engine and transmission are balanced as a unit by sensitive electronic machines. This means the smoothest operation possible at all speeds. Then the whole engine is cushioned on the chassis by DeSoto's new improved spool-type engine mounts, which absorb any possible vibration at any speed. It's so quiet, you'll hardly know it's running. But now, let's look at some of the features which contribute to the excellent performance of this brand new engine. A larger concentric air cleaner is an important feature of the new carburetor. Because of its shape and size, it lets more air into the carburetor for more road horsepower and does a 99% job of keeping out dust, dirt, and other foreign matter with its dry, tap-clean element. The cooling system features a new flow pattern called series flow. This unique system, which circulates less water at higher speed, actually helps the engine warm up one-fourth faster for better heater operation, as well as more economical engine operation, especially on short trips. The coolant travels through the system faster so that cooling is more effective. An indication of this is the fact that the temperature of the coolant rises only about 12 degrees between entering and leaving the block. The new full-flow oil filter makes certain that all the oil is filtered before it reaches the precision-fitted working parts. It's easy to change the filter, too, because it screws into its base by hand, just like a light bulb. A bigger starter, delivering 40% more torque, is an important new feature of the electrical system. Makes for more reliable starting under any conditions. And this new engine has been designed with your mechanics in mind, too. Just see where the distributor, oil pump, and filter and spark plugs are located, right where they are most accessible. These are some of the highlights of this great new DeSoto engine. Smoother, quieter, more economical, especially on short trips. Easier to service, besides being a more powerful performer. But when you talk performance, you have to talk transmissions, too. And DeSoto offers the two best automatics in the business. There is Power Flight, optional on the fire sweep. It's smooth and efficient and a lot simpler in design and lighter in weight than any other automatic transmission. And there's Torque Flight, the finest automatic transmission of them all. It's standard equipment on fire flight and optional on both fire dome and fire sweep. Now, among Torque Flight's improvements this year is a bigger torque converter, water-cooled for extremely quiet operation. The reason for this is that the cooling fins and air ducting system of the air-cooled model are no longer needed. But the most important advantage of the new torque converter is that it gives a smoother takeoff plus improved acceleration in the middle speed ranges without the need for downshifting. The torque flight automatic gearbox has also been changed. Both the first and second shift have been made even smoother. Now, here's a cartoon of an automobile in a snowdrift. It's a reminder of one of the best items of optional equipment ever devised for giving DeSoto drivers extra traction when they need it, in a snow drift or anywhere else. And that's the Sure Grip Differential, which provides up to three times as much traction as a conventional differential. And it's of simple, foolproof construction. It eliminates the need for snow tires, and it supplies the traction that's needed on other slippery surfaces. In fact, it contributes to better driver control on all surfaces. And now, if the operator will please turn the record, we'll hear some more big news about the 58 DeSoto. This year, DeSoto's competition will point up the merits of air springs, which are optional equipment on their cars. One thing they might well point up, too, is air springs' high price somewhere between one and two hundred dollars more than their standard coil springs. Now let's make it clear right now that it's air springs we want to talk about, not air suspension, because four air springs replace four coil springs in their regular system. In tests conducted by Motor Trend magazine, an air spring equipped Cadillac Brome 
was found to give a soft ride, but retained all the undesirable ride qualities, squat on takeoff, more lean or roll on curves, nose dive on stops. And this is supposed to be better than their standard coil spring setup. So it's hardly a surprise that for 1958, torsion air ride with torsion springs in front and leaf springs in the rear is a better ride and provides superior handling than either competition's extra cost air springs or standard coil springs. So remember, it's coil springs front and rear that will be standard with all our competition except Olds and Mercury. The same people who tried four coil springs and discarded them as unsatisfactory have now decided to go back to them. But let's look at DeSoto's torsion springs. They've proved themselves in hundreds of thousands of Chrysler Corporation cars and literally millions of miles of service. One of their many advantages over coil springs is that they're horizontally mounted and therefore don't require the vertical space that coil springs do. As a result, the whole car can be lowered to provide additional appearance, ride, and steering benefits. Notice the low silhouette that's achieved by lowering the car? Also, it gives DeSoto a lower center of gravity for better all-around stability. Now let's see how the springs contribute to a better ride. The front end of the torsion spring, or bar, is fastened to the lower control arm of the front wheel. The rear end of the spring is fastened to the frame through a cross member. As for their action, when the wheel rises on a bump, the control arm twists the torsion spring, but the spring resists the twisting force and holds the car level. If the wheel drops into a chuck hole, the same thing happens in reverse. Again, the torsion spring resists the twisting force of the control arm, again, keeping the car level. Another point to make is that torsion springs are lifetime springs. They'll never have to be replaced but they can be easily adjusted to assure a controlled, soft, level ride for the life of the car. This cannot be said for air springs. There are other newer drawbacks with air springs. If a car is left standing a couple of days, the air can easily leak out of the bags and let the car down on the ground. Now, many competitive dealers are installing air systems to keep showroom cars pumped up. Haulaways are being equipped with air systems to keep cars pumped up. Now here's one version of the air system's spring diaphragm. It's made of rubber, and if it leaks, it'll have to be repaired, just like a tire. Eventually, it'll wear out and have to be replaced. But let's get back to ride qualities. In DeSoto, front-end brake dip has been reduced by 85%. DeSoto stops almost level. GM cars have 25% more brake dip. And as for Ford or Mercury, there's no dip control at all. When you slam on the brakes, the whole front end of the car nose dives for the road. DeSoto's rear suspension also contributes to the wonderful DeSoto ride. The rear springs are mounted outside the frame, or outrigger style. This arrangement gives DeSoto the widest possible platform for the body for less lean and sway. The DeSoto rear spring is two inches longer than ever before to more easily soak up the increased power of the new engine. And notice that the axle is mounted forward of center. Now the reason for this design is that it provides an extremely stiff forward section which resists axle windup and completely eliminates rear end squat on takeoff. This is a DeSoto exclusive. But the longer and softer rear portion of the spring serves a special purpose too. It contributes to the boulevard ride DeSoto owners can enjoy on any road. And here's what DeSoto's famous Oroflow shock absorbers do. They control spring action, and unlike competitive shock absorbers, they control spring action exactly according to the severity of a bump. But there are many other things which contribute to the DeSoto ride. DeSoto's standard super soft cushion 14-inch tire with only 22 pounds of air pressure do an excellent job of absorbing shock. And they have more tread in contact with the road for better traction. Some of DeSoto's competitors will still use the old-fashioned 15-inch tires. Of course, this year, there are the tough captive air tires. They have an inner chamber under pressure which serves as a built-in spare if the outer casing is punctured. They're standard on Explorer station wagons, optional on all other DeSoto models. 
Uh, talking of rubber, by the way, the DeSoto body is floated on rubber. 14 body mounts, each with a big, thick insulator made of live rubber, separate the body from the frame for better road noise isolation. In the front suspension system, there are 18 rubber pivots, which prevent any metal-to-metal -metal contact between suspension and frame. As a result, road noise and harshness normally transmitted through the front suspension systems of other cars are reduced to a minimum. The shock absorbers and steering linkage are also insulated from direct contact with the frame. Again, it's rubber that does the job. None of our competitors use so much rubber in so many important places. By using so much rubber in the front suspension, DeSoto was able to reduce the number of lubrication points to just eight. Some competitive cars have as many as 21 points that have to be greased, points that might be overlooked by a busy lube man. The DeSoto chassis is rugged too. Those side rails are full box sections like the cutaway section in the inset. In fact, this is the toughest frame providing more protection for passengers that DeSoto has ever built into its cars. The heavy duty manual steering gear formerly used for the flight and dome has been redesigned and extended to the fire sweep. To the man behind the wheel, the sweep's manual steering is easier than ever. On the highway, it's as easy as the power steering in some competitive cars. Now let's look at DeSoto's brand new constant control full-time power steering available on all 1958 models. Like last year's power steering, constant control delivers full-time power assistance all the time instead of the part-time assistance that competitive systems provide. And in addition, constant control gives the driver a better feel of the road at highway speeds. We call it on-center feel. In parking, constant control requires even less work than last year's full-time power steering. Another important benefit is the additional inch and a half tow room available under the steering column. This extra room is possible because the power steering gear being shorter this year can be located entirely beneath the floorboard along with its heat and noise. Not only is there now more room above the brake pedal, but the pedal has been moved one half inch farther away from the accelerator, so there is less chance of catching your accelerator foot under the pedal. Again, in 1958, DeSoto was equipped with total contact brakes, proved best in every impartial test last year. Now here's why they're better. First, on Fire Flight and Fire Dome, they have a big 251 square inches of brake lining. The fire sweep has 230 square inches. And 230 inches of brake lining area is more than any GM or Ford car had in 1957, with the exception of the Mercury station wagon. But there are no exceptions at all to DeSoto's total contact brake being the only brakes designed to force all of the lining area into contact with the drum every time the brakes are applied. The reason is that the DeSoto brake has a self-aligning shoe that's free to line up with the drum and a flexible shoe that conforms perfectly to the contour of the drum. This is especially important on high speed stops as in these 1957 tests when heat and heavy brake shoe pressure causes the drum to go slightly out of round. Because there's always total contact, brake fade is reduced far more than in competitive brakes. You get better braking with less pedal pressure. To sum it all up, the Soto braking is quicker, easier, and provides more miles of lining life, as well as more reserve braking power. Now, let's look inside the DeSoto. There's a new rear view mirror that's mounted left of center within easy reach of the driver. The new location also enables the driver to see around the passenger seated. Let's him see his right front fender, and more important, gives him 38% more rearward vision. There's a new radio, which is more selective so that interference is minimized. Maximum wattage at the speaker has been increased 25% for reduced distortion at normal listening level. Available, too, is a rear seat speaker, whose volume is regulated by a control on the radio panel. It has more capacity and improved range and tone. For added safety, there's an optional four-nozzle windshield washer. Both the washer and the windshield wipers go into action 
when the driver depresses a foot-operated control. Defroster outlets are incorporated in the radio speaker grill on the instrument panel. They are fixed in position to deliver warm air to the windshield at exactly the right spot for most rapid, useful visibility. And talk about rubber cushioning. Even the recessed door handle has a new rubber stop, so there's no metal against metal noise when it's let go. A redesigned air conditioning system is available in 1958. It's better insulated from engine heat and has a new under-the-dash outlet nozzle and a more powerful blower motor for better distribution of air in the car, especially to those in the rear seats. And here's something that can hardly be called a feature, but it is a DeSoto treatment. It's the leak test to which every DeSoto is subjected before shipment. We mention this last because it is, in a sense, symbolic of the care that goes into the building of the new 1958 DeSoto. The car that's the biggest and best news of all for 1958. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos.